Greetings, everybody, and welcome to The Gauntlet. Today, I am so happy to welcome Grandmaster Badur Jobava to our show. Hello, everybody. Badur, um, fantastic, amazing chess player, but also the best dancing stream I've seen in the chess world so far. <laughs> How are you doing today? Thank you, thank you. First of all, thank you for the invitation. Yeah, it, it is, it, I hope it will be uh, much fun, not only for participants, but also for viewers. So this is our aim, actually. Yes. To make make it fun here. It always yeah. is. Sometimes it's a little bit of torture for the contestant, but out of your torture comes the joy of those who watch you. So. Yeah, I hope so, I hope. <laughs> All right. So everybody, if you are not already a follower of Badur, his uh, Twitch username may surprise you. It is James Blunder, not something like Grandmaster Jobava or something like that. There's a link so that you can follow him. And uh, he streams quite a lot. And in fact, we have frequently rated his channel. So probably many of you already know it because he does things like looking at classic games of Mikhail Botvinnik and just, you know, fantastic stuff. Um, he also sometimes plays high-level blitz tournaments and things like that on his stream, so you can see uh, very different aspects, the study and just the flash of brilliance. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, really, really I highly recommend it. the channel to everybody. And uh, yeah, it's true, there's also really great dancing on it, as I mentioned, but, uh, but the chess itself, you know, that's it's good stuff. Um, so we are now on the gauntlet. Let me show you guys uh, the rules and introduce you really quickly here to what's going on. Here is the menu of handicaps, um, which uh, Grandmaster Jobava will be selecting from for each of three rounds against increasingly tough opponents from chat. That means you guys. That means three of you will get a chance to play against a super grandmaster today. And you can tell your grandkids about it one day if you're lucky enough to have grandkids. Um, so he'll be selecting from here, then he'll be playing. First round, we need an opponent between 800 and 1200 to uh, volunteer as the first round opponent. So you guys can already volunteer in chat. If there are any mods around mods, you can pick somebody and let me know who the player is. It's based on your chess.com rapid rating as you'll be playing a 10 minute game against Grandmaster Jobava. Um, so your chess.com rapid rating should fall between 800 and 1200 for round one, 1200 to 1600 oh, no. for round two. Oh no, David, David. Uh, yeah. Is it rapid rating? Yeah. Oh, it means that people maybe not play often rapid, so maybe they are very good in blitz. <laughs> Sometimes, but we'll, we'll, we'll check. We, we'll check. Yeah. We're not gonna give you somebody no, no, rated we'll 900 in rapid and 2300 in blitz, don't worry. Yeah, this is very risky now, I, I feel. Okay, let's go. Let's don't go. worry, I'll, I'll check on that for you. You're in good hands. I believe very much in fairness, very much. Okay. 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 I, may, I may not you know, understand the ins and outs of Grandmaster play, but I do try to keep things fair. Um, all right. So yeah, so chess.com uh, ratings, your rapid rating should be between 800 and 1200 for the first round, 12 to 16 for round two, 16 to 2000 for round three. So by the end of this, the Grandmaster is facing quite a solid, experienced chess player. Um, please don't um, sign up to play him if your blitz rating is like a thousand points higher than your than your rapid rating. Like I said, your blitz rating should be about in the same range. You know, plus or minus one or two hundred points is not going to be a big deal, um, but it should be a real rating. And um, all right, it looks like we've got a couple options between a sadist and a pleifer. Um, for round one. Um, all right, and let's take a look at the handicaps here. Um, Grandmaster Jobava will try and take on as many as he thinks he can still win the game while taking on. If he played you without handicaps, of course he would win. We know that. The question is how many handicaps can he take on to win? And that will help determine where he ends up on this leaderboard, which you can see above us which shows you round by round point totals of our top contestants so far. Last week, Steven Zierk scored 25 points more than Benjamin Bach to take over the top of the leaderboard, or sorry, two weeks ago, Grandmaster Steven Zierk, um, who's on his way here to play a classical tournament in my backyard right now. Um, <laughs> I'm having a backyard invitational this weekend as well. Um, 
So uh, you guys can see his totals. He scored 1,425 points in the first round, by far the most points we've had in a first round. And then he was able to take it a little bit easier in later rounds. Um, what happens if the Grandmaster takes on, let's say, eight handicaps and fails one of them, but still wins the game? Let's say he uh, accidentally captures a pawn with his queen. He would get minus 125 points instead of plus 125 points for that, for failing a handicap. So failing one handicap doesn't ruin the whole show, doesn't necessarily knock you out, but since it's minus points, it definitely hurts the possible point total score. Um, so that is, we found a quite fair uh, penalty so that people aren't just purposely pretending they have a handicap and then violating the handicap. Um, there's still incentive to not violate the handicaps on purpose, I think. Um, and yeah, any handicap that they do succeed in and win the game, they'll get plus points for that. So, you know, if you don't castle 125 points, if you capture every six moves, which is a crazy weird thing, 200 points, move your pawns only one square at a time, like E3, D3, C3, instead of E4, D4, C4 throughout the game. Let your rooks slowly die after five moves and then they just sit there <laughs> like pieces of rock and play it blindfold. You know, as an example, that would be playing for 1,050 points. And uh, if you forgot and opened with one E4 because you weren't yet in the mood, that total would go to 850. So hopefully everybody watching understands how it works. Um, and now, um, Badur, you want to tell us which, uh, which handicaps you're thinking of for the first game? Yeah, question. Uh, will I play all games white or how it works? You will get white in games one and three and black in game two. Ah, okay, it okay, used to be okay. random, but then I switched right. it to I just set the games to make it faster. So I made it white, black, white. Okay, so uh, you give me some time to think, yes? Yeah, to, of course. To choose, okay. Of course. So for sure what I will take for first game, uh, it's six minutes handicap I will give. Okay. Yeah, six minutes handicap for sure. Uh, for sure I will uh, give queen can capture pawns. Mm -hmm. uh, I must play bunk loud. Okay. I will be blindfold. Uh, I cannot take pawn and pasan. Yeah. No promotion. Okay. No promotion. Oh, that's How much it is? That would be for a total of 1,125 points. And uh, how many handicaps I can give? Uh, as as much many as, as you or? want. Ah, okay. So, wait, wait a second. Yeah. Let me think now. Now it's very important. Uh, ah, yes, of course. Pawns only move one. So, it's like I, I play h3, h4 then, right? I can play h4 directly. Yeah. Exactly, okay. it would take you two moves. Every, every, every pawn like that, okay. Yeah. That's, that's also included. How many points it is right right now? 1225. So if I will take knights can touch rim, it means if I play knight g1 f3 first move, I have to retreat it somewhere or what? Because it touched no. h4 square or how it is? That doesn't count as touching, it's just if you move onto it. So it means basically your knights can move anywhere from the b file to the g file, but not the two side files. Okay, I take it too. Okay. I practice this so much that every time you pick one, I'm like, I remember when I violated that one by accident. <laughs> 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 okay, I think for first game, I need to warm up so enough, I guess. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm not sure what shape I am. So. All right. So that would be for 1,300 points, three-minute time odds twice. So that's two times 100 points. No pawn promotion. Pawns only move one. No en passant. So he's hampered his pawns pretty badly. His queen can't capture the opponent's pawns. Knight can't touch the rim. Must play bond cloud. <laughs> Sick. I need to remember what I took. <laughs> you have to remember what you took. You're allowed oh to. You're allowed to write it down if you want. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Let, let's just make it like that. Okay. Do you know I'm, how to I'm, turn your pieces? Them. Do you know how to turn your pieces blindfold on chess.com? Uh, no. Okay. I think I never played. Yeah. I mean, it will be not automatically or how it is. So basically, to do it, you go to um your settings. Okay. Wait a second. Board settings, right? Settings. Uh, board and pieces. Yeah. Yes, okay, I see pieces style and this stuff. And Board. then you just click on pieces style. And pieces you, style, yes. And you click on blindfold. On blindfold, let me see one second. Blindfold should be somewhere. 
the piece Blind styles are in alphabetical right. order. Okay. Yeah, I did it. So I don't okay. see anything. Okay. So now yeah. if you click save, there's a green button to save the choice you made. Uh, wait a second. Uh, save, save. I don't see save here, but uh, pieces are gone. Your pieces are gone? Enough? Yes. Okay. Great. Maybe it, it's already done, maybe. I guess you or, did. Uh, or if you start the game, it will show up again or how it is. Okay, I will. My viewers will tell. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, your, your viewers will know, but basically yes. your board should be empty of pieces now. It looks good. It looks like you did it. Yeah, empty pieces. Um, well. I just checked on your stream for a second. Um, yes. Okay, and so I think your opponent here for the first round is going to be uh, Pleafers, right? Um, thank you for everybody who, uh, who volunteered. We're gonna give you uh, Pleafers here. Pleafers, can you remind me of your chess.com username, please? Okay, any questions before we start, Badur? We are white, right? I am right. You will be, uh, you will be white against Pleaf. All right. Um, okay. It'll show as a game where you've got 10 minutes against 10 minutes with a two second increment. Okay. But since you're sacrificing six minutes of time, you only get to use four minutes. If your clock ever goes below six zero zero, mm -hmm. you will lose the first round on time. Okay. Let's go. All right. He says, let's go. We've GG. heard him say that before. Here we go. Grandmaster Jobava playing his first game here. I'm gonna turn off this so that you all can see the board and we are going to start it up. Wait, Exotic Princess is not online? I am uh, in live chess. You are in live chess. Yes, um, once again, I click for any case. Okay, let me double check. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm online. Okay, I'll try it again. Yeah, so we started. There we go. Good luck to both Thank of you. Thank you. All right, folks. Let me just adjust this board slightly. At least you can see most of the pieces right now. Here comes the bond cloud. Success on his first on his first uh, Handicap. All right, and we will switch the leaderboard to the handicaps. I'll start commenting in a moment, but for now he's played. So, uh, <laughs> we play like uh, Nims Larsen with Bone Clouds <laughs> included. Not necessary to do, of course, but we must. So he has knights on six pawns, d5, e5. This is what I remember. I have king on e1, pawns e3, b3. He played d4, uh, d5, d4, right? Okay, nothing special. Bishop goes to b2, I guess. We take it. Okay, if we swap the queen, it's perfect. Yeah, okay. So we are secured with one uh, handicap. We cannot capture with queen. Uh, what is this? Knight 6, <laughs> b4. Knight c6, queen b4. We can't capture pawns in green. Hmm. So I'm going to take this guy. Woo! I'm just trying. He's won a pawn, but Pleaf is on the attack. Pleaf is on mm -hmm. the attack. He should be five. Okay, he wants to capture my pawn on C2, definitely. Yeah. Uh, that's a tricky idea. Normally we would defend with knight A3, but look at that. He's got knights can't mm -hmm. touch the rim. It's a problem for the grandmaster already. Wow. Normally okay, the first round opponents don't attack like that. Arr! Ah, I cannot. I cannot put my knight on a3. I completely forget that. Sick. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> it was the only way. Okay, he give check. Okay, it will be minus uh, some something. I forget that my knight cannot go to rim. But how to defend c2 pawn, right? Yeah, it, it was, was how to defend. And okay, he give me check, so I have to... Pleaf is really on the attack, having sacked a pawn and developed very, very quickly. Absolutely forget about that, guys. Honestly, if this were normal chess, you would say this is a very dangerous pawn sacrifice by black and, uh, you know, perfectly playable position D5. for black. Eat wow, my still on the attack. Code. Maybe rook okay, a5 I or rook c5 next. Wow. Knight of three. Okay, so 
So his rook on d5, knight on b4, bishop on f5, bishop f8, knight d3 check. Okay, the check, I guess we somehow survive. Um, Look at please. <laughs> what? I just take with bishop. He played bishop a3 probably. And I play king d2, I guess. Yeah. Protect the pawn. Okay. G7 is also hanging. It's, I need to play faster, by the way. It's bouncing off of Joe Baba. He's handling it. philosophical but stuff. This assault from Pleef is it's absolutely removed. unexpected from a player of his rating. What an assault. And developing. Yeah, Great move. Take this guy. King e2. So we are pawn up and better structure. Pawn up and better structure. Shoot d3, cd, okay. Yeah, rook d1. Protect. Okay. The GM seems comfortable, but I am really scared and impressed. Rook d5, e5. Okay, I just grab the hook. Okay. F E. Okay, let's go D4. Now Jobaba's in Rook control. Takes. Trading everything off. Rook takes. He's trying C5, to make it Rook very, takes. very simple to keep track of what's Rook. where. T1. He's, he's gonna have to win D5. without promotion, but it's doable as long as he remembers. <laughs> no promotion is not Rook gonna five, be a go after pawn. full problem here. With the king and rook, he can, he can do it. I think. I, previously, what? I would have thought it's just too tricky, but I've say, seen, I've seen Georg Meyer do some endgame checkmate without promotion. Bishop before c five, or I don't understand what, what was. Can I just take it or what? What just happened? I, I just don't understand. What was the move uh, highlighted, guys? I don't understand. Oh, something bad happened. I don't understand which move he played. Oh my goodness. Ah. I thought he played bishop c5, but he, what he played is c5 or what? What the hell just happened there? Oh, c5 got highlighted, but it was the bishop coming I really from don't c5 what happened to b4. There. Ah. Oof. Oof. Oh my goodness, he had the game completely under control. King takes bishop? Oh! Oh, come on, I lost this game, yeah? I thought that he played bishop c5 and I just took this bishop, no? Sick. Uh, it was some, somehow uh, highlighted wrongly. Ah, the pawn moved two spaces. Although... I just don't understand on the board what, what the moves he's making, really. Does he know where the bishop can't, can't is? Can't see uh, position anymore. Fuck. He could still promote to win the game at least. Okay, I just resign because I don't see position. I mean, I just just resign. Hey, David, I just uh, don't see uh, what is moves they highlighted on the on the board. Yeah, I mean, the uh, bishop. The bishop went from c5 to b4, I think, and it highlighted yeah, me, uh, it highlighted uh, the two squares, and so you thought it went to c5, right? But I, I thought he played the bishop uh, b6 c5. That's mm -hmm. how I understood, and I took it uh, and just gives the rook. And I also don't understand what position currently. I just don't see it. Uh, I yeah. just I will not play blindfold because I don't understand what, what the moves are uh, on the board. Very strange. Yeah. Very strange. It's very. I want to H7, rook H7, and I thought he just blundered a bishop on C5 and just take it. Yeah. In real, in real, he played what after rook H5? What he played? C5 or what? Um, he played his bishop from C5 to B4. Unbelievable. Yeah. 
No, this is totally. Uh, for example, where he was his king in last position? I thought he's on c6, his king. Where is his king? He just took on h5. Absolutely. I see position absolutely differently. I mean, <laughs> I thought yeah. he's king on c6 and he's king on h5. Are you kidding me? That's why I resign because I don't see position. Yeah. To play it. I mean, okay. I mean, what? It's over already, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's already over. I mean, what if I, everything begin when I forget to put my I cannot put my knight on a rim on a three. But uh, right. if I don't put it, I just losing. Yeah, <laughs> he was. Oh, no, he came up with quite an attack for a nine hundred yeah, rated yeah. player. I was impressed. Yeah, I mean, he played much more than than that rating for sure. I mean, yeah, he's not a eight hundred player. Yeah. Yeah. His... Okay, but I will not play. I will not play any more blindfold because I just cannot understand what moves are on the board physically. Yeah. Yeah. I better play uh, with uh, all handicaps, include uh, without blindfold, I guess. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah, really, I don't understand. I was sure he's king on c6, for example. <laughs> In real, on h5. Yeah. Strange. <laughs> it's crazy. I wish that the highlight color of the squares was different than the color of the squares. Like, if you set your board to blue, they set the highlight to blue, and if you set your board to wood, they set the highlight to wood. So you can never very well yeah. see where the. Yeah, no, I've never played, I guess, blindfold on chess comps. That's why I'm not uh, used. I thought it will be much more easy to understand. I mean, what is this? Yeah. yeah. It was quite easy end game to win, right? Rook H5 just co collect all his pawns. Collect but then all I the thought pawns. he just gave me bishop. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he gave me bishop on C5. Yeah. Very strange. Okay, okay. Yeah. So we play against uh, 1200 till uh, what rating? To 1600. 1600, so, okay. So, dear chat, we need a second round opponent now. We're going to continue on here with a menu of handicaps that will no longer include blindfold. Yeah, no more, no more blindfold. No, no, no. This is just uh, impossible to play for me. It needs some practice. So, I will play, yeah. I will give nine uh, minutes handicap for sure. Yeah. Nine minutes handicap. Uh, I will play with one minute and two seconds, right? That's right. One minute and two seconds. Can we somehow set it up to be visible? Or we have to minus nine, or how we do it? Can, can we do it? Like, can we do it uh, to have one and a uh, minute, two seconds versus 10 minutes and two seconds? Mm, or it's impossible to set up? No, I don't have the power to uh, just change the uh, clocks. Okay. So I will lose when? I will lose when? If when you we, go to 8.59. 8.59, I lose, okay. Yeah. Uh, so down to okay, 9.00, so, zero, you're okay. So, okay, I will make the same. Uh, no captures with, with queen. Okay. Uh, so nine uh, minutes odd. Uh, also, uh, no in Passan. Mm -hmm. um, also, bank cloud has to be done. Mm -hmm. uh, knights cannot go to rim. Do you ever, do you ever play the bong cloud online to bother opponents of yours? Not seriously, just for fun, maybe late. Okay, uh, I mean, uh, not in tournaments. Right. Yeah. Mm, what else I want to take? Yeah, pawns uh, cannot move. I mean, uh, only moves one, two squares. Okay, mm -hmm. I guess that's it, right? No promotion. Can I take no promotions? Let me think. Okay, no promotions. I need to go almost all in now. I mean. mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so that's it. So ah, no castling, of course. Yeah, because I anyway make pawn cloud. How I did not take it the uh, previous round? I mean. Oh well, the no castling points are included in it. So. Ah, okay, included. Yeah, yeah it's very strange. Yeah, to, to have both. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. Yeah. Uh, if somebody is rated twelve sixteen or twelve sixty, they have to. Um, they could play in this round, right? It's twelve to sixteen hundred. So. Um, let's see, Ken Rugged one, two, three. I'm just gonna check this user, Bador, to make sure that his blitz ratings are in line as well, okay? So one second here. Um, uh, rapid 1200, blitz 1000, yeah. So not, not higher in blitz, okay. So that's fine. So Badur, your opponent this round is rated 1216 in rapid okay. and a little bit mm -hmm. lower in blitz. I think you could take on even another handicap, Badur. I think you can do it. Let me think what I can do else. Because I'm a little bit shocked after the first game. It was a completely winning and just give the rook away. Strange. Yeah. Uh, what I can do? 
can't occupy e4, d5, e5, d5. It means I cannot put anything there, right? Not right. Pawn, not knight. But oh, you're that. allowed to capture something there. So if your opponent puts something in the center, you can capture it and your piece can stay in the center when it's captured. Ah, then it's possible to capture. Okay, there let's it's possible. It Their pieces let's aren't invulnerable. You can capture them there. Okay. But if you play like okay. bishop takes e5 like in your last game, you're allowed to. If you yes. retreat the bishop, you can't just go back to e5 unless you're capturing right. again. Okay, let's take it. Let's, let's try it. it. Yes. Excellent. Okay, let, let, let's go, I mean. That's, let, that's some big points. There we go. Yes, let's go. Can't occupy e4, d4. Whoops, scrolled that just a little bit by accident. Okay, so we've got must play ball and cloud, knights can't touch rim, queen can't capture pawns, no one pass all pawns only move one, no promotion. So basically everything is the same except we've got a little less time and can't occupy the center instead of blindfold. Okay, perfect. Yeah. We are ready to go. I will set this match up. 10 rugged against exotic, exotic princess. 10, two, unrated. Everybody, give Joe Bava a follow and a sub for being here. Mm. Let's go. Thank you. Round two. Let's go. It's on. Ah, uh, uh, sick. I uh, forget to change settings. One second. Oh. I'm blindfold. All right. Um, <laughs> One second. All right. One second, guys. Let me. Uh, <laughs> touch. He needs his yeah. pieces. He needs his pieces, okay. folks. He's playing oh, one I minute chess. Let's go. You've got Let's your pieces? Go, yes. Okay. So 859, I lose, right? Eight. 859 and let us bring up the board here and mute me so I don't bother him and here we go we are playing okay, this is this is a this is a chess when I see the pieces what, what the hell the bonk <laughs> now this is chess there's actually <laughs> chess pieces all right <laughs> all right I cannot move my pawns on two squares right That's right, his pawns have to go one step at a time. Let's see. Oh yeah, there's... It's not showing the no promotion. <laughs> oh no, it is showing it. It's just on the first line. Ah, fuck, I always lose, forget this. I cannot put my knight on a rim. What's wrong with me today, I mean? Why well, cannot remember that? <laughs> we'll have to give him a second invite back. Why well, cannot remember this stuff? Okay, let's go G5. Ah, I cannot play G5, sick. Okay. Can I play G5, guys? G5. Yeah. He wanted that. He wanted that. <laughs> it's totally different than chess. This uh, this kind of chess where your pieces can't move. <laughs> trade, trade, trade a bitch. Oh, by the way, folks, I should mention... We need your donations to fund this this show, right? Uh, if you guys like the gauntlet, give us a few dollars each week to add to the prize fund. You see somewhere over there, so there's a prize. Um, when the players don't break the record, as uh, Chobava will not be doing today, um, <laughs> then, then the prize fund increases each week. And as the prize fund gets bigger, we're able to invite more fantastic players to the tournament, right? So, Rook takes F2. <clears throat> He's got 47 I seconds take, left. Uh, pawns with queen, so I will not mate him with, like that, but it right. helps to take with Rook, yeah. He can still take with Rook, that's right. Ah, uh, sick, I just, oh my, I just blundered this? Daster, you have to donate the 10 bucks. What's wrong with me today? I mean, what I'm in, doing? In advance, right? So that Hikaru will Just get mated here or what? Oh my gosh. Unbelievable. I just, just blunder. I just blunder a queen. Play so bad today. I mean, just crazy. Wow. It's like me this morning losing, uh, 
losing all my kids show. <laughs> Yikes. I cannot capture uh, pawns with queen, but I can, ca I can capture. So folks, by the way, this is just um, ridiculous. I mean, I just played so bad because there was basically checkmate here. If his queen went this way to keep it defended, there was knight h5 winning the queen for a knight. So he really walked into this move here. And that's why he gave the queen. No time, no queen. No time, no queen. Tough situation. Rook f2 improves things, though. I need to exchange rooks and bishop g4. What else to do? Oh, my. Your brother's playing banana? That's great. So any... And I can't promote. That's, that's the worst thing, guys. <laughs> the end games are the, the crazy. Any donations, my, uh, my any tips, any cheers during the gauntlet always go to the prize fund for future episodes of the gauntlet. Okay. So just so you it's all know that, five, right? if you like the program, support the program. Was two. Queen G3 was probably not a good move. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, now we'll see somehow. if his rook is better than a normal push, person's I queen. A5 I cannot play, right? I have to play A6 first. That's right. <laughs> Let's not to forget that. I cannot play on two squares. We're going to find out if a super GM's rook is better than a normal player's queen. <laughs> Checkmate banana. You think your brother can take this game home? You think your brother can win this one? <sighs> Such a tough game. What is this? I mean... Not should be so tough, no? But when you plunder a queen in one move, then... Thank you, Slothy. Thank you, Mitch. Checkmate Banana's betting on their brother right now, Ken Rugid or Ken Rugid. Here comes that A Still need to advance this guy to, <laughs> to scare him. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I don't really want to promote this pawn, but I want to scare him with it. <laughs> Twinkle Toes, the avatar is here in our stream. Awesome. We've got the exotic Maybe princess the bishop, and yeah. the avatar. Ooh, that's annoying a little bit until the queen goes to d2, I suppose. Charlie, you must be in America now. bob has got 18 seconds left plus the two second increment. Here comes the A pawn. Boom, boom, Maybe boom, will, boom. Uh, panic now. All right. It. Tons of money from, uh, from Chess Fields. Thank you, everybody, for pumping up the prize fund for our future. For our future. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I hope he will panic. He sure. could have... Jobaba could have queened the pawn and won the game, but at the cost of promoting. He's trying to still win this game mate somehow. without promoting. Trying to set up a checkmate with the pieces he Somebody has. Is like mate. Unbelievable that this rook is beating the queen little by little. He's trying to get a back rank mate at some point with the pawn on g3. Some people would think like h3 trying to win this pawn, but actually you can set up better checkmates if your pawns go on dark squares. You cannot squares. give rook, otherwise I cannot promote. How can I win with king and bishop? And bishop on We need to keep the rook for mate. He can't even trade so for example, rook for g3, the queen. rook b2, rook b1, I win the queen, but I cannot win the game then. I cannot promote. <laughs> Unless I will not lock him on h1 squares, then I will make mate. Draw? Uh -huh. Are you kidding me? Offering a draw to Jobava? Are you kidding I'll me? Draw. Check. He could take all these pawns with the rook, maybe, and slowly come back around. 
squish white. Sorry, man, I cannot board. accept your draw offer. You can actually trap a queen on the back rank if you get enough pawns to the second rank. <laughs> okay, check. <gasps> Wait a second, I cannot... But will he take? I cannot take on f1, right? If I take our win then... Hmm... I take all pawns, but I cannot promote. I cannot deliver mate. <laughs> I will play rook c5 first. A new puzzle. I cannot give rook. Because I cannot lock him king down, unfortunately. Yeah. Quite Why he resigned? Queen f1 it was still GG. He could play Queen f1, I cannot take it. If I take King f1, then he goes to d2, and then I pick up all pawns, I cannot promote anyone. So I want to play rook c5 here and win yeah. all pawns and push them forward and try to try uh, try to mate him. Yeah, I wonder yeah. I wonder, Bador, if it's possible to win that endgame of bishop and six pawns against king without promoting. Yeah. I don't think so. I was going to play rook c5, so he, he resigned too early. Rook c5, you could I want try, to play. You could try to yes. squish his king all the way against the side yes. of the board because you actually, I mean, you have enough pawns to cover every file almost. Maybe, but it's risky. It's an interesting puzzle. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, and uh, I cannot lock his king on g1, unfortunately. If I would uh, lock him with bishop d3, then I would deliver mate with suk twang h3, sacrifice, and then mate, but I cannot do it, so I wanted to go rook c5 there. Rook c5, rook d5, and then push pawns, destruct queen, and give mate somehow. Mm -hmm. Only hope. But again, I forget to was that I cannot put my knight on the rim. I, uh, there's some cur I'm cursed on that, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how much points are I earn on this? Very little, right? We're going to give you 950 points for that. Right. There was a negative 75 for the knight. Yes, yes. OK, 75, we can survive, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Well uh, right. played to uh, to Ken Rugged finding that rook to g4 move. He may have yeah. he may have lost the game, but he found one move that a super GM overlooked. So that's like a. Yes. <laughs> I was shocked. Yeah, knight h5 or queen g6 mate is coming crazy. <laughs> yeah, I have such a bad shape. Yeah. So yeah, I'm what's over. happening to me today? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, crazy. Yeah. So now, uh, what level now? Okay, so now your third round opponent will be between 1,600 and 2,000. So step up, somebody. These guys can be pretty tough. Yeah, this is going to be tough for sure. Huh. Okay, so we give, uh, this time we give six minutes thoughts, not, not, not nine for sure. Six minutes thoughts. Okay. It's a maximum that I manage probably. Um, hmm. Queens can capture pawns. Okay, so it can be... Probably still. Job over trying to think out a mate uh, with a bishop no and six non-promoting pawns was unparalleled time. chess entertainment. So, let me see. Okay, knights can move on rim. I cannot remember once or not. We're gonna get rid of that one since you can't remember it, right? Yes, yeah. <laughs> so so far six minutes odds. Uh, um, what else do I choose? Queens can capture and knights cannot uh, touch rim. So uh, no and pasan also, I think. Okay, so you are doing the knights again? Yes, yes, okay, I, I take that uh, can't touch rim. Okay. I, I think I will remember, finally. Um, hmm. Yeah, this is tough opponent, so I need to be very careful now. Yeah. Play blindfold. I, I, I think that, that it is. That it is. Okay, so I'm getting rid of the bond cloud. Um, no, no, not bond cloud. Okay, so let me read to you what I have here. I have three minutes time odds twice. Mm-hmm. Pawns only move one. Mm -hmm. No en passant. Queens mm -hmm. can't capture pawns and knights can't touch the rim. Mm -hmm. One second. Pawns right? only move one. One pawns only. Okay, let's go. Let's okay. go. I'm white. You'll have white this time. Two times three minutes. Pots on move one, two, get rid of. Ah, oh, well, David, David, can't yeah. occupy e4, d, d4, two. You want that z. one too? Can't occupy uh, central squares. Okay. Let's risk a little bit. So, repeat, please, what I took. Okay. What I'm looking at is three minute time odds twice. Pawns only move once. So, you get to go down to six minutes this game, not 559. Okay. Pawns only move one square. No en passant. Queens can't capture pawns. Knight mm -hmm. can't touch the rim. And you mm -hmm. can't put your pieces on e4, d4, e5, or d5. 
Mm -hmm. So that's okay. all. And let me clarify one thing for you, Badur. Last game, on one move, you played your E pawn to E5. Really? Yeah. I, I, I didn't count it against you because I wasn't sure if you knew that pieces in this rule includes the pawns. Ah, pawns also, of course. The ah, pawns yes. also. No, no, no. Let, let's okay. make it fair, of course. Let's yeah. make it fair. No, so, I mean, uh, make it fair minus that point, too. No, it, it didn't matter. It was one little pawn move, and I wasn't sure if you knew the rule. But for this round, ah, okay, nobody okay, okay, touches okay. the center. Ah, okay. Only with captures. Sick. Yeah. <laughs> that, that is, Only with yeah. captures. Oh my, I need to remember that. So yeah, you're really yeah. hoping that your opponent hangs a piece in the center so you can have yeah, one so piece in the center for yourself. All right, all right. After D5, I should take on D5, yes? Okay, I got you. All right, all right. so I'm looking at, I think, Twinkle Toes, which is also a good princess me? name. Are you kidding me? I play against Twinkle Toes. He's super, uh, he's a cool player. It's my, my follower, the guy who, who helped me to start stream, by the way. <laughs> no, no way. Really? <laughs> He'll... Yeah, he will crush me for sure. <laughs> Twinkle Toes. Well, they said that they were in the range. <laughs> Twinkle Toes, I will ban you if you beat me. <laughs> Ooh, a threat. No, 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 no. Let's make another open. I mean, uh, it's not fair. It's you want a different pool, opponent. Okay. Pool. Yeah, different, different player. All right. We've got lots of people here. Who else wants to play against the Super GM today? <laughs> Twinkle is a good player and also my follower, my friend, so... How can I motivate myself to play? Mm. So you prefer to play against people that maybe you don't know or don't like a little bit? No, I, I, there is not such people normally. Yeah. <laughs> Which are the likers, but I mean, for me, it's more, much more harder to play with somebody who was kind and, you know, good person. Yeah. I used to be like that too. I, I, I didn't like playing my friends and I always wanted to play somebody who I had some kind of reason to try to be better than them or beat them or some kind of competitive thing and now in my older age i actually like playing with my friends and i don't like with playing with people i i don't like anymore the range is 1600 to 2000 folks step up i know there's a lot of you who Ooh. want to play a gm it's getting tough <laughs> twinkle toes <laughs> how you are not shame to uh, to to even uh, offer yourself to david i mean come on it was i think he was trolling me actually twinkle are you here in chat all right, we have Polly KP. Um, mm -hmm. Polly KP is rated 1800. That's right in the middle. That's perfect. So, Polly KP, please tell us your chess.com username. And I have a message for you from Ken Rugged, your last opponent. He says that playing you was a once in a lifetime experience and it was very fun for him. Thank you. Huh, for thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, let's check out Paul Cicio. Make sure he's not rated 3,000 in Blitz or anything like that, since I don't know him well. Um, so we'll go here. Check out Paul Cicio. Make sure he's as 1,800 as he says. Thanks, God. I can, I can, I'm able to promote this time. Yeah, so Blitz 1,850, is... Rapid 1,900. That's fine. All right. You're allowed Oof. to promote now, so the end game won't be as weird. Um, I even bought after a long time a cigarette, one cigarette today. I knew it will be stressful. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, now I'm going to feel bad that I've put so much stress on you. <laughs> no, it's okay. All right, okay. everybody, <laughs> make some donations for Jobaba's future health care oh, here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I need to insurance myself probably. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And uh, and uh, any kids watching, you know, don't smoke, don't swear in front of your parents, but do try to play chess like uh, like Bador. There's something to learn there. All right. Good luck. Yeah. Round three begins now. Let's go. There we go. Cartier Tank is feeling seen and represented, finally. People talk so much about representation, but what about us smokers? The job are the healthcare. <laughs> All right, Dorham contributing to the healthcare. Whew. And you guys can't see the board. Oh my God, I'm flubbing it again. Come on, David. Find it. Okay, don't turn off his face. Give us the board. Okay. Whew. All right. I think 
He's finally warmed up to what's going on. This is a great opening for trying to win a pawn on e5 against a lower rated player and establish a piece there. But unfortunately, in round three against like an 18, 1900 opponent, that's not quite going to happen. But so far, he's only moving his pawns one square. That's a good start. Whew. David Flum. You're an accountant, Morphe fan? Do you love spreadsheets more than I love spreadsheets? I love spreadsheets. Such a stressful. I've been not commenting. Man. <laughs> I feel pressure. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah. You don't need to comment. Need to remember, You're already doing a lot. Put freaking knights on corners don't put knights on corners don't put them in the center either the knights have a very narrow space to go around the center in circles <gasps> what is this it's the dream he's got a piece of the center and he didn't cheat <laughs> this was generous <clears throat> oh do i prefer spreadsheets or chess oh that's such a tough question it's so... It's, uh, he wrote me that he forgot that I can capture. I just cannot place bishop on the That's right. That's right. Well, it seems this guy tried but to I take advantage can capture of the... Uh, on this square. Yeah. It's so close. Because, okay. like, spreadsheets... I cannot play d4, so let's play knight so three. satisfying. Ah, good. He didn't play d4 this time. But overall, so I would say... Watch out... Time? If I have to choose between easy, satisfying things guy. and difficult, yeah. satisfying things, in the end, I have to pick chess. And it's I can more castle, difficult. what is uh, good news, guys. I like difficult things. I can things. make castle. He's even okay, allowed to castle. Eliminate this guy. Oh, now he doesn't have a piece in the center, but okay. I noticed Jobava really likes uh, like simplifying in the gauntlet. We can go here for sure. When he's got like an advantage that he feels very comfortable with, he doesn't... <laughs> needlessly complicate i think i tend to like complicate and take risks against lower rated players one of the reasons why playing lower rated players makes me worse in my own tournaments is because i play so like queen can loose against capture them. pawns i cannot put my pieces or knights without capture on central pawns don't go to rim mm -hmm. what else i took don't no take Bassan, okay the queen. No Bassan, well, not happens. and queen can't capture pawns yeah, queen can capture pawns, okay. <laughs> I'm just helping him a little. What a nice guy. And so much stress. <laughs> Anybody who scores 3,000 points yeah, in regulation we, we, earns we that bonus manage. fourth round. All. We speed up and also bad structure. We won't be seeing the bonus round this if week. If I will get uh, six minutes, I lost, guys. So must only watch the time now. Time is most important factor now. But those... But those who do score over example, 3,000... I, I default to capture it because it's illegal to put knight. In the first three rounds, they have to play a master something. in the fourth minus round. The bonus fourth round is against a master. It's really, really difficult. <laughs> okay, he's anticipating my castle. Okay, let's put first queen here, awaiting move. Mm -hmm. I would go Sick. I should I, I should took Bon Cloud, yes, yeah? and I'll play King E2 here. Yeah, but who know? Who knew? <laughs> who knew that I will have peace so weirdly? Yeah. Knight H4, very tempting, exactly. <laughs> Knight H4, yeah. <laughs> it's weird. Yeah, I cannot move my pawns on two squares. I need to have it in mind. Mm -hmm. G4 is a move that you sometimes play against this bad structure. So the best strategy will be if I will uh, exchange them. my queens, right? But so let's put it here. Like and exchange queens. Get rid from queens. Let's we don't see if he goes on here, C6 guys. or C5, right, guys? And one thing we should say is, like, my biggest problem on the gauntlet was also remembering what my hand. I cannot were, capture on C6, guys. Or one of my biggest but challenges. I can capture his queen. Okay, so we put it here. Nice. Remove for in case. I think plan is king D2 and then double rooks over C file. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, let's put this guy here. Solid plan. No, in normal A4, chess, you would play knight d4 here, but he's not allowed to. B4. Nothing wrong. Just remember, buddy, A3, very nice move. Block mm -hmm. everything. Yeah. Black should have played A3. I don't want to take time. on this, but he's forcing me. Okay, he's forcing me, but now he will improve his structure, but okay, not so big deal, I hope. 
All right. Um, I cannot go knight d4, unfortunately. He wants to play what? c5, he don't want to play. Let's go g4. Ah, okay, g3 first. I almost played a mistake. <laughs> I need to go slowly. g4, h4, like that. Good. c5, I will capture pawn on d5. So if we cannot move c5, so g4, h4, h5. Let's open up uh, position on the king side. Right. Try and take advantage of the battle. He will be forced to push his h pawn not to lose the bishop at some point. That was a brutal moment for me, chess stock. I played otherwise great that round. Um, I, against a really tough opponent. Uh, yeah. I mean, really, really tough chess talk. My opponent, I think, in that game, if I remember correctly, was a cheater. Which, ironically, I got accused of cheating online when we uh, posted he still put, put the it. episode. Okay, I will just grab. I can oh, take... Okay, we have what? We have knight c7 move. We can capture f6 check. We can just capture pawn. I think knight c7 looks the most solid uh, decision in this position. Right? Nothing w w wrong with that. Let's go after the rook. That's good. When he can see the rook board, he can, he can calculate for sure with this stuff. But okay, we can survive. We can take it, play king e2. I think part of the reason, folks, and this is another reason you should not uh, like. No, we cannot take. I forget. I just forget we cannot take. I'm so silly. Oh, I always the knight's forget not I cannot take. take. Hook. Yeah, he, he tricked me now. He tricked me. I forget about that. Oh, no. That's annoying. He tricked me this time. That's annoying. It's hard to keep track of this stuff, folks. Just genuinely hard to keep track of. He tricked me, guys. He tricked me. No, you told me to wait. Hmm. My tournament participants should be arriving very, very shortly. Let me make sure everything's okay. But he forgets that uh, I cannot take his rook. Was actually anyway, folks, yeah, just during that game where I forgot my handicaps, I believe I was worrying point. about the fact that I was playing against a cheater. And so... But... It was a cheater who, when they were about to win, like would stop cheating, <laughs> so as like so as not to make it as like obvious. <sighs> um, yeah, it's good that I did not take that, uh, only, no promotions. <laughs> it only hurt me to worry about that I, during I would the game. This game if I would took it. I mean, I should right? promote I at some point and playing. minus points. So now we put pressure on his time too. By the way. Yeah. So it's just another example of how it only hurts you when you worry about like cheaters. Like I would have been better off just just playing normally and forgetting about it completely, right? Like He's ready to trade that stupid knight just to clean up the board. <laughs> oh, he's rook f3 by the way. Yeah, there's also this crazy move and then bishop d3 hitting uh -huh. this and b2 b1. Okay. Let's kill the bishop, I guess. Uh, I have two minutes, into right? Into the center. Let's uh, increase the speed a little bit. Kay. This time I'm um, not pardoning him. <laughs> what we do here? Let's put this guy here. Paul is fighting back, like, fiercely here. Um, from a game where he was down a piece. One mistake yeah, from this is tough. Joe Bob and Knight well, C7 forgetting tough. he couldn't take the rook and it became super Out of tough. Nowhere. Knight C7 is trapped because it's not allowed to go into the center. That's right. Well, suddenly this became tough, guys. Paul does know the handicap. Let's put it here, yeah. for example. And taking advantage of them. Okay, super. Tu peux leur dire d'aller dans le jardin? Merci. So annoying. <laughs> He especially put rook on a5 because if once he will exchange rook and knight c4, I cannot take it without uh, losing points. So tricky guy. After he blunder a piece uh, on e5, uh, he started to play very well. Yeah. He started to play very well, guys. So Jabba, Jababa has to keep this Let's central this strong point, I think. Nope, I was wrong. I'm wrong. Jobava's recognized that this player is good, just had a misunderstanding about that bishop e5 move. How get out from this? Let's play g4 maybe. Bishop c2. 
Uh, Mitch, you'd have to look for the episode that I'm on. I'm not sure off the top of my head whether it was episode, you know, one or three or whatever. He's going to take it like this, or is he going to try this, 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 this? Yeah, no, he's going to keep his rook. Tough, tough, tough. Yeah. Now we've got a super GM level endgame. I was thinking maybe he was going to try to switch the rook to f3. But, okay, he's just putting every pawn to limit the scope of this bishop. I this out of there. Now if rook f4, believe this. the bishop would have been covering rook f7. So he had to stay on the c-file and keep this defended. If the rook ever goes to win the knight, it doesn't win it because it can come here. <sighs> Uh, Plukru, knight touching the rim in, in our rules only applies to the A and H files, just so you know. Knight takes B1 is legal. We explained that rule to him. Oh, I look at that. Capture. Vicious. He's allowed to capture, I though. To capture this time. Ha <laughs> ha, he's Check. allowed to capture. Check to the miserable king. Rookie three or take. Take is risky. Very risky, guys. He could take, take, and play this end game. Or he can play rookie three and keep more pieces on the board. Okay. Yeah, it's a big choice. Risky, but I have to do it. Okay. Yeah, he felt like the other option was 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 bad for him. Wow. Doesn't capture right away. Uh, trying to get this square available. Jabava takes it away Sick. from him. Sick this option. Yeah, I agree. He's not going here because he needs his knight in range to maybe sack for the A pawn. I think that's why we're not seeing knight h7 ever. He's trying to win with just this. It looks like this endgame is a draw. Oh, knight h7 is also illegal. Good call, folks. <laughs> I was trying to understand the chess reason for it, but it was a gauntlet reason. I mean, there could still well, be something game, dramatic right? here, but Black's a pretty good player. I expect... Playing so bad today, which is crazy. I expect Black to find, you know, Rook A1, <laughs> etc. Oh, but Rook A1, G7, Rook G1, now there's Knight G4, right? Oh, look at that. Unbelievable. Black found something absolutely fantastic there. Rook B2, wow. How I play like this? What is this? Wow. Wow. All right, he's gonna fight on. He's gonna fight on. <laughs> so annoying, I mean, what is this? Okay. So it's just, I'm, uh, just incredible. I'm sorry that we have stressed you out and annoyed uh, you. Come on, this is not even funny. I mean, it's just completely winning in the position. I mean, I just forget I cannot take on A8 uh, as a rook. Just play knight before and just resign, yeah? Yeah. I should actually take on A8 after that mistake. It better was give a point than, than, than lost it. I mean, Give the point and be up a rook and win for sure. Yeah. Perhaps. It got so complicated after that. Yeah, I mean... I should not exchange the rooks. I again forget that I cannot take knight h7, yes? Mm -hmm. I should play rook e3, of course, keep the rooks on. Okay. I don't know, but I believe everything you say. <laughs> yeah, okay. What's All on? right. So now what we do? So that's that's uh, that's the end of the show. Um, ah, I mean, the end of the show? I thought it was three rounds, you said. That was the third, third round. round. Ah, okay, okay. It's only three games. I thought every round is three games. Ah, okay. I just warm up and it's over. <laughs> yeah. Very strange. <laughs> yeah. Very strange.
Yeah, it's a one hour. It's a one hour program. Um, it's not supposed oh, okay. to take you. You know, it's not supposed to be like a lengthy thing where you have to come in and okay. and fight for hours and hours. Um, All right. Even though I All like right. things that, like that. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. I mean, uh, for such things, you normally have to prepare, of course. Yeah, I mean, I was not prepared at all, yeah. especially for blind, blindfold was terrible. I mean, I just opponent has to resign instead I give Rook. Yeah. Because I think that I'd eat his bishop because board shops move bishop c5. Yeah. I mean, what is this? Yeah, you would need to have had a little practice there exactly yeah, on yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Um. Well, um, I'm sorry that it, things didn't go your way this week. That's yeah, okay. But okay. this show is supposed to be difficult, you know. That's that's why we invite good players to it. It's actually supposed mm -hmm. to be difficult, and we saw today that it was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. All we'll, right. We'll give another shout out to James Blunder, everybody, Grandmaster Badur Jobaba. Um, Thank you. A fantastic player, great chess player, great chess teacher, fantastic <laughs> channel. I love his channel myself. And there's very few channels I say that about Bador. Yeah. You know? Thank you. To be honest, I'm very tilted now. I mean, this is uh, yeah. not funny. I mean, I, I was thinking we play more. I mean, only three games. What is this? Only three games. I mean, uh, three games is nothing. Yeah, I just warm up. I even don't see what's going on. And, and then it's over. I mean. Well, op if you if you would like to. Resign with, uh, with Rook down or be Knight down and then win. I mean, okay, come on. If you would like to take it out on your channel, you can certainly play the gauntlet against your own channel. All you need to do is pick handicaps from the list and yeah. play against some of your users. I'm sure that they would love a chance to uh, to play a tilted Jobaba blindfolded. <laughs> <laughs> no, did, no, I mean, come on. This, this, this was a little bit unpleasant, I would say, especially last game. I mean, he should resign after bishop e5. Normally, no, he should resign, yes, after he mm -hmm. gave me bishop. And instead, yeah. he win this game, uh, absolutely not necessarily. Very strange. Yeah. For me, that was very strange. Yeah, I mean, the same thing with him. Like, he'd misunderstood the rules when he played bishop e5, right? Like, that was kind of like a... Okay, you misunderstood, just resign. I mean, why you keep continue play without peace? I mean, just resign and that's it. Yeah. What's the point? He made me so tilted and what? He's glad to be such an idiotic game or what? I think it was wrong to continue play. I don't know. Yeah, in my opinion. I would resign there. Okay. Yeah. What to do? Okay, thank you for the invitation. All right. David. Yeah. Have a nice stream, man. Yeah. Take care. Thank you for being bye -bye. on. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Bye.